Hi, this is Rajesh Singh from St. John's University, New York. Uh, I'm going to talk about cultural literacy and how we can use cultural literacy approaches in developing introspective information professional. This study is based on, uh, on a student's identity exploration paper that were analyzed in three different sections of a cultural competence course taught by me. So what is cultural literacy? Cultural literacy, to put it simply, cultural literacy is the ability to interact with people, to interact with uh, interact successfully with people from diverse cultural background. So just to give you a brief background uh, before we talk about cultural literacy, the uh, allies profession is predominantly a white and um, female dominated profession in, in, in the US according to 2017 ALA demographic study. As a result, uh, while information professionals are engaged in imparting information literacy on a variety of topics, including immigration, citizenship, health, public uh, educa uh, education, technology, uh, civic engagement, conversation. Uh, so this means they have to, they continue to engage in imparting information literacy skills. However, they would be, the argument is, however, they would be more effective in their job if they have a better understanding of, of the background information needs, preferences, and wishes of their patrons who come from a diverse cultural background and multicultural population. While there are a number of conceptualization that exist about cultural literacy skills, uh, two conceptualization given by Aining and Polistina, they're, they're, they're more compelling and, and complementary in nature. And they talk about the importance, uh, appreci importance of uh, and comprehension of cultural diversity, effective intercultural communication, critical reflection and thinking, personal skills for coping and being change agent. As you can see in, in both this conceptualization or any other conceptualization uh, of cultural literacy, critical thinking and critical reflection and thinking are of paramount importance of critical importance in developing self-awareness of their own cultural background as well as about uh, others' cultural background. So critical reflection and thinking, it is the, uh, it is the crucial component of a cultural literacy. There are multi, it is not a new topic uh, in the LIS profession. Cultural literacy approaches to self awareness includes autobiographical exploration, diversity audit, uh, audits, class uh, discussions, family histories, reflection, self evaluation, learning diaries, etc. While, while scholarly activity has significant. Uh, 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 scholarly activity and cultural competence has significantly increased during the last uh, few years. However, uh, there, there is not adequate uh, um, there, uh, there's still limited uh, studies are still limited when it comes to addressing effective uh, cultural literacy approaches to develop introspective information professional. At least we don't know much about, we are aware about the approaches, but we don't have uh, much information about it. So this uh, study tries to address that gaps. And um, it was a cultural competence course that I taught uh, during the last three years. There are three different sections. They were taught during the summer and they were all online program. And our students are mostly onla uh, online ad and adult learners. So that means they're working in, in, in some capacities in libraries, archives or museum in part-time or full-time capacities or some other kinds of information organization. So before the, a student engaged in writing their identity exploration papers. Um, they had already gone through all the social justice related topics like race, privileges, in implicit bias, microaggression, uh, cultural intelligence, multicultural communication, and so on through a critical justice framework. So the goal of this assignment was 
to ask a student to self-explore, to navigate their own identity through self-exploration. And, uh, and, and they were asked to reflect on five of the 10 identities, uh, race and their 10 identities were race, ethnicity, gender, gender identity, religion, ability, language, nationality, sexual orientation, class. Our work, as I said, they were required to reflect on any five of 10 identities. So the goal was to create awareness about race, privilege, oppression, and intersectionality through a critical justice framework. So the research question was, if asking students to navigate their own cultural identity, help them become more culturally sensitive towards people of other cultures. And there were 43 adult learners, majority of his students, as you can see, they were white students and there were some uh, African-Americans, uh, Latins, uh, Asians, and, and multiracial uh, students. A phenomenological approach was utilized to explore the themes that emerge from the students' discussions about race, privilege, and intersectionality, and what kind of insights they gained. Uh, uh, about those topics, race, privilege, and intersectionality, while students reflected on, on many identities, but this study um, covers or analyzes only about race, privilege, and intersectionality. While students navigated their own cultural identity through self-exploration, a number of themes emerged about race, and there were pretty long comments uh, about different topics, the uh, major themes that emerged from their paper, and they're listed here. So I'm going to just briefly talk about all those different themes. So as I mean, their 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 their, their papers revealed um, that. Um, that, that uh, reveals that the foundation of racial identity is laid in the experiences of uh, childhood through all interactions within family, schools, communities, and societies at large, particularly in the middle school and high school, that is when those identities get established and they continue to evolve throughout their lives. So that's what uh they talked about they talked about uh, in particularly most of those themes are related about white students with the exception of marginalization and stereotyping here uh students said they they grew up in homogeneous cultural bubble that uh, that uh, that prevented them that insulated them from learning about people from diverse cultural backgrounds and to develop meaningful relationship with them on occasions when uh, I mean, they, they were their parents were uncomfortable uh, and having them intermingling with uh, with students of color uh, and or, or with their parents. As a result, they had limited exposure. A majority of the students they did not have any exposure to racial dis uh, discrimination and oppression. There were few who witnessed it uh, while they were with their friends. Uh, uh, non-white friends in stores or in car going over there. So there were some uh, where, where they had opportunity to experience how their friends of color were discriminated against, but the majority of the white students, they did not have any experience of racial discrimination and oppression. And they said, well, I have never been discriminated against because of my skin or color. Feelings of white guilt they expressed um, about 20 percent of students, 20 to 20 to 30 percent of students, they expressed feelings of white guilt, expressed intense emotions, and limited exposure to multicultural background. As I said earlier, they grew up in a homogeneous cultural bubble, they, which prevented them to have uh, limited exposure about multicultural environments while they were aware about uh, multiculturalism through movies and readings, but it was higher education 
that help them expand their world views about uh, about uh, about uh, about learners from other cultural background and they had opportunity to interact with them uh, in in contrast students of color they uh, marginalization stereotyping micro microaggression that were part of their uh, development there were some uh, white students who who had who had developed a mistaken belief who, 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 who's mis, who, who, whose mistaken beliefs about equality had contributed to the development of colorblind ideologies a few white students also expressed their struggles about implicit bias they're aware of it and they're working on that and some students also explained that uh, 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 it has not been race has not been a topic of growing up in their homes and while some students said it has been a strange topic in my home my parents um, family members they made the stereotypical jokes about uh, about uh, people of color but at the same time they had friend and they always welcomed them so so Overall, students' paper demonstrate how this introspective exercise helps them navigate the conundrum of race uh, uh, by just being engaged in, 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 in self-reflection. A majority of white students were aware of pros and cons of uh, their privileges and how, how it benefits uh, in their careers and lives. So they recognized they were aware of it being grateful to it and at the same time um, a majority of uh, students said like they looked through the lens of ableism like uh, uh, there most of them they said that my life was not easy my life was full of struggle it was not made harder it was easier than others because of uh, mm, uh, because of who i am because of my white skin color and really uh, uh, because of my skin color. Uh, there were a number of students, uh, a small number of students who, who, who also express how they downplay, deflected or find ignorance about their uh, privileges on some occasions when it was convenient or helpful for them. Overall, uh, their reflections demonstrate that uh, while they were aware of, about their privileges, but they had not engaged in in-depth analysis of their privileges prior to working on this assignment. Students, as, as, as I express, as I explained at the beginning of this presentation, students looked at several identities. They were not, it was not just about race, privilege, and intersectionality. They looked at sexuality, they looked at, they, they, they reflected on religion, they reflected at language and nationality and many other types of identities they have. So or, uh, through the uh, overall three different themes emerge, uh, particularly, in the context of uh, Latino and African-American students, it was a feeling, it was a constant feeling of inadequacy, self-doubt and constant pressure to prove themselves because of their position as outsider in the, in the, in, 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 in the white dominated society. Asians and particularly, uh, particularly biracial students, they, they struggled with the identity crisis. Uh, Asian students reflected that uh, their white American friends, they have a stereotypical uh, perception about uh, uh, Asians that they prefer staying home, doing housework and taking care of kids at the same time, in particular, biracial students they said like if uh, it, despite their mixed identities if they had more asian african american or latino markers or uh, complexion uh, they were perceived as asian latino african american in spite of their uh, biracial identity and that made their life challenging on the other hand some biracial students also expressed if they had a white marker white complexion they were perceived as white even though 
they had a mixed identity and nobody cared. So uh, that was a kind of experience of Asian and particularly biracial students. Uh, a majority of white students, um, they, they make up uh, of this course and evolving worldview, a desire to grow, learn, and evolve was a consistent theme uh, in the reflections of white students uh, and how they can learn about other culture and, and, and become a culturally literate uh, professional. There are four different themes emerge from their identity exploration paper, the role of self-reflection in developing cultural competence. They emphasize how powerful it is to reflect uh, in order to hone their cultural competence skills and practice cultural humility at individual and, uh, and with colleagues at organizational level. They also emphasize the importance of continuing education and professional development and um, in order to continue to develop their cultural competence. And finally, they also emphasize the importance of leveraging their advocacy and social justice toolkits to, to structure and to, to fight structural uh, inequities in the system and um, homogeneity. Implications, so overall the findings uh, findings of this study demonstrate a majority of them is students who navigate their cultural identity will likely act more culturally sensitive towards people of uh, diverse culture. Overall findings also demonstrate benefits of using self-reflexive activities in improving critical self-awareness. That is the key to cultural literacy, developing introspective information professional, appreciating the advantages of continuing critical self-reflection in developing cultural competence and practicing cultural humility, and finally incorporating an anti-racist component in teaching multicultural education so that race is not wrapped up behind euphemistic phrases of multiculturalism or diversity celebration. That was briefly about this presentation. These are the references that were used in preparing this presentation. And thank you again for your time. Thank you.